Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Neighbours Back From Hell. This was developed by Joe Wood Entertainment and MIG, published by THQ Nordic and is available for usually £12.99 but does go on sale quite frequently. So we play as Morning Woody Wood, or just Woody to his friends, as he sets out to annoy one of the most angriest looking gaminated British flag <coughs> cuddlers I've ever seen. So this is all for good reason. But we basically have to sneak around a house and various holiday locations picking up items and using them to prank the old gammon flag hugger himself. It is fun and it is easy. Now achievements wise you will get the full 1k for simply completing the entire game so there's no missables at all which is nice. But of course this guide will show you how to complete every level. One other thing is do not worry about time. You may think that you're under pressure but literally, you can just completely take your time and still get the 1k. Uh, so don't worry about having to rush or stress too much. Other than that, this will take you around 2 to 3 hours to complete. So with that being said then, we can now finally begin. Now a quick mention of the controls then. So basically, you'll go up to an item and you'll just press the A button to use it. It's the left and right bumper, or left or right on the D-pad in order to um, use your inventory items. As you can see, the inventory bar is at the bottom. And if you want to use something with something, as we go into the drawers first, um, Woody's thought bubble will say, as you can see there, the whoopee cushion and something. So that's how you use the items. So anyway, make sure to pick, go into the drawer, then head into the left here. Now this is a mini game. We just have to basically line up all the items in a row. So this time it's going to be the glues. Uh, as you can see then, you can move the camera with the right stick, by the way, to see where the neighbour is. Or press the B button, and that will follow the neighbour around. We're going to wait here by this uh, right-hand side door. Also, another thing, in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see where the neighbour is going to next. So he's going to his chair, which we know is in the lounge. So you can obviously go to or avoid him that way. Anyway, go up here, make sure that you've got glue in the inventory, and then press the A button. Then we can look in the fridge, so that'll basically apply glue to the, um, his binoculars. Use the egg on the microwave, and then head back downstairs. Again, I do apologise that uh, this is a bit quick. Um, you know, this is the tutorial level, you're just trying to find out what's going on. Uh, but as soon as he goes into the kitchen on the right, we can now head up these, this door here into the lounge. And of course, he's going to take a little bit of time to clean that. So, use the whoopee cushion there with the chair, again just by pressing the A button when you're next to it. Interact with the TV, and that is how we do that one. So, all you got to do now is basically wait for him to get pranked by absolutely everything. And, uh, yeah, he will be fuming. And we will get the five, uh, or the four gold medals in this one. So, you can just hide in the wardrobe if you want. Now, in every... <laughs> yeah, and then it will be done. So, again, I do apologise that everything's a bit quick. But, of course, with the neighbour walking about, you are having to do these quite quickly. Um, but of course, like I said, there are always going to be locations in every level that you can hide or there will be like a, a specific room that the neighbour will never go into so you can just wait in there until it is done. Um, but yeah, hopefully you've got the whole inventory thing there. So on PC you would be able to uh, click it and it's probably a little bit easier whereas, uh, now you can just wait as well and uh, Woody will do this bit automatically. Or you can go at the front door when you got all the four gold medals, that's fine. Again, the score doesn't matter either. So uh, that was the first one done. You will get an achievement there for completing the first one. And then we can go on to TV afternoon. And then we can go again. But hopefully you've got the inventory thing and picking up items. You have to walk into it to either use it, use it pick up the item or use it. So first of all, have a look at the drawers again to pick up a, uh, some saw or a saw. Head all the way to the left here and grab the laxatives. From the cabinet. So grab the laxatives here from the cabinet. Oh, we know where we're going with this. And the toilet roll from the toilet holder. And immediately use the toilet paper on the toilet. That will block that boy. Next up, we are going to head to the kitchen. So again, we're just going to wait for him to get out. So of course, for the first two levels here, he's only going to appear in his lounge and kitchen. But as soon as he's out of the kitchen, we are going to make sure that your inventory is on the laxatives, then interact with the beer. So I'll put the laxatives in the beer, you dastardly thing, you. Grab an egg from the fridge, and then we will put that straight in the microwave. So again, uh, again, as long as you've got time. If you see that the neighbour is coming, just quickly go downstairs and just wait until he goes back again. Again, you can really, really take your time. 
So, when he gets a beer and he's out of it, what we're going to do... Of course, there's going to be fuming there. So, what we're going to do, uh, he is going to... Eventually... Uh, so, we're going to wait in the wardrobe, sorry. Because what he's going to do is grab a beer, the one with the hilarious laxatives in it. And then, of course, laxatives mean one thing, and laxatives means uh, death to your ani, as it were. Death to the insides of you completely. But basically, he's going to run into the bathroom. Oh, apparently it's coming out of both sides right there. That's unlucky. So, once he goes in, we can press the A button here to get out. And we can go straight up to the lounge. And then we're going to interact with the TV as well. And we're also going to use the saw on the set or, the, or his chair. So it does go a bit slower, but of course he is, uh, you know, taking his time. <laughs> Absolutely uh, laxative in himself. So use the saw on the chair and then fiddle with the TV. And then once that is done, we are going to head into the kitchen. So don't go downstairs from the lounge. Oh, in fact, you may actually have to because he's going to go up the kitchen way to get himself another beer. Like I said, if you're unsure of where he's going, have a look at the neighbor's thought bubble. So you know where to avoid, which way to go to avoid, or get into him. But that'll be that one anyway. As soon as he's done these last two, that will pop this next level done. So yeah, so these levels do only take a sort of few minutes. You know, literally, I think the longest one's like six or seven minutes, something like that. But we've got four seasons to get through, six episodes in season in season one three and four and then nine in season two so um yeah again we're only seven minutes in we're only two levels in but i hope that you've sort of got a gist of the game already again i do apologize that i've explained it explained things quite quickly but it is just one of those games that you can't really take your time because the neighbor will catch you uh so yeah anyway next up then the is going to be the level birthday surprises it's a birthday surprise. It's laxative diarrhea time. Right, so first of all then, what we're going to do is grab the items from the drawer. So we're going to get a couple of items here to use. And what we're going to do is go over to your marker pen and use it on the picture here in the hallway. Once we've done that, head left into the bathroom. Uh, we are going to grab the soap, which is just left to the toilet, and we're going to use it on the floor. So again, just go by the floor there, and then press the A button. As you can see, he is coming this way, but he's not going to come into the bathroom. So he's checking his mailbox right there, as you can see. Right, so what we're going to do from here, we're going to grab the toilet paper from the holder and block the toilet once again. Now when the, uh, when the old gammon flag cuddler has gone up, we're going to head into the lounge. So he's up into the kitchen, so head up to the lounge. And we are just going to wait for just a moment. Oh, that's a sad birthday, isn't it? That's a sad, sad birthday. I've had plenty of those in my life. Anyway, once he's gone down, we will go inside. Right, we are going to head into the kitchen, take the egg from the fridge, and we're going to use that with the microwave. Again, just go up to it, uh, as long as you've got the egg on in your inventory. And we're going to use the fireworks on the box next to the microwave um, as soon as... The neighbor has decided to chat. So obviously he's going to clean his microwave here. And like I said, I always say, I always say to just have a look at what he's doing. Um, and again, if you want to, you can actually just go into a hiding place and check the neighbor's route. Because he only does a predetermined route in each level. So if that's what you prefer, you can obviously do that as well. But once he goes back downstairs, we're going to head back into the kitchen here. Put the fireworks in the box. And then we're going to leave via the lounge because, man, this duty ain't coming. <laughs> duty. Coming. <laughs> Sorry. So leave via the lounge. We're going back to the hallway. Now we're going to go to the right, as long as the neighbor's not there. And put the mouse trap here in with the mouse trap uh, into the mailbox. Sorry. And then we can hide in the wardrobe until all hell ensues. And he's wondering for three days in a row, what the hell is wrong with people? Why don't they left me? <sighs> Huh? 
There we go, you can head back out the door, or again, you can just wait and leave it, and Woody will automatically come out and be like, uh huh. -huh. Right, on to the apple pear. Ding, fries are done, ding, fries are done, ding, fries are done. Would you like an apple pie with that? Getting the Family Guy uh, lyrics on the go there. What an epic Peter Griffin that I am. Including the epic ball chins. Right, anyway, as we begin, we're going to search the drawer once again for some goodies. Then we're going to use the black marker on the picture once again. And then we're going to head into the kitchen. Uh, the bathroom, sorry. So, head into the bathroom, search the cabinet for some item. A couple of items. And the holder for some soap. So, grab the soap and the toilet paper again. So, immediately then, we're going to use the soap on the floor. We're going to use the toilet paper on the toilet again. And again, obviously, always just keep having a look. Make sure, again, but keep having a look. So he's going to come in the bathroom now, as you can see, with the kitchen sink. So if that's the case and he starts coming down, uh, just wait up here for the time being. He will be a bit annoyed, but he's still going to go to the kitchen. So that's why it's always worth just having a look at the neighbor's thought bubble just to see where he's off. Because, God damn, you don't want to get peed off and annoyed. Right, so I guess we'll just uh, head into the kitchen then. Yeah, I'll do. Because he's going to be a while getting all pissed off. So while that's happening then, we are going to use the shaving cream here with the whipped cream. And then go into the uh, the fridge again, grab the egg, and put it with the microwave. So again, on the side there, make sure you've used the shaving cream with the whipped cream. Do the classic egg in the microwave, hilarious stuff. And then all we've got to do then is just head back down into the bathroom when he has finished being all pissed off me. There he goes. So he's just still chilling. So what he's using right now is the actual last two items that we need to pranky him with. Yeah, that is a, that is a good looking bra. He got more hair on his eyebrows than he has on his head. Right, so as you can see, he's going back to the apple pie, which is in the kitchen. So we are going to go to the left and just head back down into the bathroom now. So just wait for him again. Just wait for him to go through because he will catch you even if he, at the literal last split second. So... What you're going to do is use Hair Restorer with the second bottle and the glue with the first. So the glue with the left-hand side bottle, sorry, and then the Hair Restorer with the right-hand side bottle. Once you've done both of those, we can head back into the wardrobe. Uh, by the way, in case you haven't noticed, if you do end up using a wrong item for something, Woody will just go, eh, eh, and obviously you can't do it. So that's when you know you're using the wrong item. So, once this is done, you can just chill in the wardrobe and wait for Baldy McFlag Numpty to, um, yeah, be our peace deaf again, deaf. I mean, to be fair, a lot of these pranks are quite unnecessarily cruel, but, I mean, the, the, the long schlong on Woody's nose is, uh, well, it's too good to pass up, so that's why we don't care. Right, on to the old spoil sport then. So, slightly different start this time. What a TV show. So, first off, grab the bowling ball here from the bag, 
and you have to do this mini game like we did with the glue earlier. So just um, go and put all the bowling balls three in a row, job done. We're going to grab the marker now from the draw, and once again, we are going to use that on the picture. So again, make sure it's on in your inventory, then press the A button next to the picture. Job done. Right, go into the bathroom. We're going to do the usual here. So, usual with the toilet paper, grab that, stick that straight in the toilet. And then we're going to head to the lounge. Just be... well, in fact, I don't think we'll be able to uh, at the minute, because he's starting to come down. So grab the soap. So, again, don't worry. It, oh, I know it looks like he's going to come towards you, but as you can tell by the thought bubble, he's going for the pink flowers, which are just to the left of the wardrobe. So I got I, a lot of times when I start this game, I got too much in a panic, seen him walk towards me, and kept getting my my butt beat. See, so it looks like he's coming towards you, but he's going upstairs to find his music notes again. That's if you want to do that, have a look where every item is. That's up to you at the beginning of the level. Anyway, once he's done that, what we're going to do is um, we're going to wait here, actually, until he stops being smelly. And then we are going to go upstairs. And then we're going to take the phone here on the wall, which is in the middle between two doors. And we're going to use the pen on um, the sheet music. So just go next to the piano there and make sure it's the pen. That'll do that one. Right, next up, go into the kitchen when he goes downstairs. And it's egg time in the old microwave. This is uh, getting it to be a bit of a habit. But anyway, grab it from the fridge, <laughs> put it in the microwave. Now, when the kids kick the ball through the window, you have to quickly swap it for the bowling ball. So you can put the soap on the floor here, again, which is fine. Um, you'll also get cheese from the fridge. But as soon as, again, this is quite tight on timing. But as soon as the kids kick the ball here, make sure you've got the bowling ball in your inventory. And then quickly swap it out and head straight downstairs. Diddling, diddling. So yeah, sometimes it'd be quite tight on timing. If he catches you again, you'll still have two lives. But anyway, where's the there's the ball. Swap it with the bowling ball and get on out of there. So quite tight for timing. So what we can do now is head downstairs again, of course. That's where we had to go. Now we're going to add the cheese to the plant. So there's the plant that he enjoys. And we're going to stick smelly, cheesy, um, unwashed uncleanliness to it. And then what we're going to do... We're going to head back to the lounge as soon as he starts going and breaks his back for about the millionth time. How is the dude still walking? I don't know. And ouch, that must hurt like an absolute faragga bugger. So heading up to the lounge here, um, we're going to pop into the kitchen when he eventually pops off himself. After he stops, of course, being that typical angry. No skateboarding on the side, work! No kick of football to my garden, I'll pee on your plants. Anyway, once that's done, what we're going to do is make sure you've got the phone in your inventory and interact with the chalkboard here on the left, or in the kitchen, sorry. Or the number on the wall, that's going to give him a little prank call. And we can actually just stay in the kitchen, he's not going to return here. And he's just got two things left to be absolutely peed off with, and that'll be the end of this episode. It's bath time, it's bath time, Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. Bath time, it's bath time. Right, on to bath time. So, you would have unlocked the second season achievement by now as well. So, let's get this one. Final one left to do. So, first of all, we're going to grab the items from the drawer once again. There we go, so we've got a couple there. So, glue, black polish and a marker pen. Head to the left and go into the bathroom. We're going to uh, grab the soap. Soap, the toilet roll. Oh, well, I'll try that again. Soap, the toilet roll, and have a look at the ca at the sink, the counter under the sink. Sorry. And after this is done, we can now head to the lounge. Don't worry about him. The bottle of milk is in the kitchen, so that's owl good. All right, so heading up to the lounge. Eventually, we'll just wait. There we go. So he's going to start coming downstairs. That's why we're heading up to the lounge. Go into the kitchen, and incredibly, we are going to micro egg his microwave again. Now, you must be thinking ghosts, surely, by now. But anyway, put the egg in the microwave, <laughs> and lucky. 
And then we're going to interact with the bin here, and we have to do the matching mini game to get a bottle. So the empty bottles, all three in a row, once they're lined up, they'll get the empty bottle in the micro uh, in the inventory. So when he goes to the lounge, we're going to return to the hall here, and we're going to use the marker pen to draw on the picture once more. So after he's finished, we're going to head to the bathroom. We're going to pop the soap on the floor. And we're going to use the shoe polish on the towel. So the towel there just by the bath. So stick that in your pipe and towel and smoke it. Oh, fuming again. He's like, oh, it's a ghost. Uh, we're going to use the bottle on the bath to get the bottled bath water. And then we're going to pour the hair restorer that we should have into the tub. And then block the toilet paper with toilet paper. Uh, block the toilet with toilet paper. That makes more sense. And that is all good. So now he's going to start heading towards the um, bath. So again, obviously always keep an eye on it. Because if you end up being a little bit slow on uh, doing a couple of things, obviously he may catch you. So again, it, you know, I was quick because I ended up doing this level like three or four times. Anyway, use the bath pearls on the balls in the dish. And we're going to use glue on the bookcase to the left of us here. And for the final one, head into the kitchen again. And we're going to use the bath water with the mixing bowl. <laughs> still funny. Does get kind of tedious quite quickly, but still. So, once that's done, um, we can now basically just go ahead and hide in the wardrobe. And that will be all episodes done. But yes, so obviously, me with the magic of editing and the magic of replaying each level two or three times. So, I obviously knew what I was doing. So, I obviously do things quite quickly. Um, but if it's a case where you're not able to do things as quickly, which again, I do apologize. I'm just trying to show you the best way to do things. Of course, if you see that the neighbor's coming towards you, you just need to quickly hide into the next room and then just crack on with it. So again, there's no pressure. You can take your time with things, so don't panic about it. I, again, I apologize. I know I've gone quite quickly, but um, that's only to show you the best way. Anyway, wait until he's all, you know, doing the same thing, being pranked and everything, and that will give you the first strike achievement for finishing all episodes from the first season. Right, so on to season two. Here we go. Art for Mum's sake. Now, originally, um, there was only six episodes in season two, but they, in fact, there were nine, and then they got rid of it, and then they put it back in again. So, yeah, that's always fun, isn't it? But anyway, we're on to Art for Mum's sake. So we're still in the house, but we've got more things going on. Um, so, first things first, we're going to open the drawer. Exactly the same thing for the time being. So open the drawer to get a wrench. So obviously he's going to be using the camera and the statue at the top for quite a bit, but what we're gonna do is go to the end of the hallway here, collect the pins from the board just to the left of the wardrobe, there they are, and we're gonna grab the items from the cabinet in the bathroom. So it's just gonna be the cabinet items this time. There's no, apparently there's no soap and there's no toilet roll. I don't know why, maybe you just need to <laughs> go to the shop, bro. You can't crap your pants forever. Anyway, when the uh, flag Bum Bums leaves the kitchen. We're going to head in there. So head straight into the kitchen. And we're going to use the pins on the stool and the wrench on the generator. So the pins on the stool. And then the wrench with the generator just to the right of it. So make sure you've done that. And then have a look at the bin. And we're going to uh, grab a banana. So make sure there's all banana peels. Three banana peels in a row. 
and that's job done. Right, press the left trigger when you get into the living room here. So this is to sneak and there is a sleeping animal here. So make sure that you've done that. And then of course what you have to do is just interact with the stool to sabotage it. And then we can head back down into the hall when the uh, neighbor goes into the kitchen. Or oh, we're gonna wait for the neighbor to go into the kitchen. So we've got an unlocked door, which is his bedroom. But again, every time we're in the lounge, make sure you're pressing the left or right trigger to sneak. I do apologize, I should have said that earlier. But sneak when you're here. And now we are going to head upstairs. So go into the door to the right of you right there. And again, you can press the B button. If you don't want to watch the things, press the B button. And now we're going to collect the powder here from the bedside table. I don't, you don't have to sneak at the moment. Um, I'm just being extra careful. And use that with the camera. So the, the powder, use it on the camera. And then head to the right-hand side to the balcony. Use the scissors on the bird to let it go. Not actually on the bird to turn it into a KFC. You can take your fried chicken bird. Uh, but the rope that it's on. So there we go. Use the scissors with the KFC bird. And then we're going to use the stain remover here with the painting. And finally, go back into the bedroom. Put the banana on the floor by the door. But if he's coming up, make sure to hide under the bed. So the only thing that we've got left to do is to put the banana peel on the floor by the door. Again, you may be able to get that just in time. Or if you were like me, you'll just have to wait until he nips outside. Gets a bit annoyed. Then we can just press the A button here to get back out. There you go. Put the banana peel on the floor. There it is. And then quickly hide back under the bed. There it is. And just wait for him to do the final two things. And that is the end of this one. Oh, what a beautiful morning! Oh, what a sunny day! So, let's start a sunny morning, right? So, first of all, once again, as usual, collect the items from the drawer. So, collecting the items from the drawer, that'll get us some items, of course. A dirty, uh, yeah, dirty shoe brush, lovely. So, head up to the kitchen, collect a banana peel from the bin. So, again, you'll have to do the three banana peel minigame again, there it is. And then grab the honey from the fridge. So get into the fridge. And then what we're going to do is sneak through the lounge again. So left trigger once again, of course. We're going to sneak through the lounge to go upstairs. So go through the right door here to go upstairs. Check the bedside table. And a bag of soil by the right-hand side door by the balcony. So that's the bedside table, the bag of soil by the door. Then head into the balcony itself. Close the umbrella. Again, sometimes it can be kind of finicky um, with, with the controls and what he's looking at. But close the umbrella right there. Then head to the bathroom. And we're going to use the key on the cabinet. So again, he's just going to the deck chair. So we are going to have to hide under the bed. Just be aware of that one. Here he is. Oh man, you can smell him from a mile off, can't you? Jesus Christ. He has a bath, but uh, he still puts the same 365-day crap-stained undies on. Delicious. Right, so head down. Remember to sneak here again, or you know you can just you can just gat, gun it like I just did. Use the key anyway on the cabinet. Uh -uh. Stop telling me. Uh -uh. So we're going to use the brush now on the toothbrush, the dirty shoe brush that we got. Use that with the toothbrush. Go back outside to the right, or because the neighbors come in, we're going to wait in here. Because of course, as you can see, he's going for the plants. He's going for a little. Snifter bifter, something tells me that he's more high on life. Oh, he's not going for a sniff, he's putting water on it. Okay, cool. So again, like I said, the neighbor will always have a predetermined route. So we'll never change course. So once he's out of there, we are going to get pins from the board once again. And we're going to put the banana peel on the floor. So make sure to put the banana skin on the floor the right there. 
Now we are going to head into the kitchen. Remember, he's going all the way up to the balcony. So again, just check to see where he is. And we're going to use the soil on the coffee machine. That is just downright dastardly. Right, so what we're going to need to do now, we can wait here for just a moment. In fact, we are going to have to go down into the hall because he's coming for his coffee machine. But what we need him to do is we need him to come downstairs into the hall. So let's just wait, wait, wait. That walk is, uh, that, that's as Andrew Tate Alpha as you're ever going to get that walk there from Mr. Neighbor. So head out, remember to sneak again, of course. Ah! My Andrew Tate Alpha-ness. Ah! Right, so what we're going to do, um, we're going to head to the balcony. Again, you don't need to sneak at this point. There's nothing in the room. Ah! -ha! Well, loser, bro! <laughs> Back, get put out again. Right, put the pins on the chair. And then use the weed killer with the watering can. Let's make sure to put the pins on the chair, the weed killer with the watering can. And we're going to use the honey with the lotion. So, the honey there with the lotion, which is just to the right side of the deck chair. And that is it. We are done. So, we're going to hide under the bed and enjoy it. And again, so again, at this point, you can just press the B button to just follow the neighbor around if you want. Or you can just take a one minute nap. Enjoy it, whatever you do. Then, the next level, One Little Piggy, that was one of the three levels that got added back in. So that you may find some other guides that don't have this one in, uh, but I do apparently. So, let's get on with it. There's the little piggy snuggum, big black eyes and hundenjagen. Right, so first of all, we're not going to interact with the draw. We're going to go past the piggy and we're going to interact with the pin board right here. Now, this is one episode where the guy sleeps and as you can see, the green in the left-hand corner, when it when that's empty, we will he will wake up. So sneak in the living room here to grab crackers from the left, just by this chair, and have a look at this H2O container to grab some nitroglycerine. That'll always come in handy, won't it? Right, head into the kitchen. What we're going to do now is interact with the bin. And again, as you, and what we need then is uh, three banana peels again. So banana peel it up and interact with the fridge. That's going to grab us some spicy sauce. You can see where this is going. And we're going to head back down into the hallway. So, again, when he's sleeping, and you're going to see this a lot throughout the rest of the game, uh, the green uh, percentage bar is obviously when it gets to 100, he's going to wake up. So he's going for a piggy milk bottle, which is in the kitchen. So as soon as he goes into the kitchen, then head into the lounge, press the left trigger to sneak again, of course, head upstairs. And once that's done, what we're going to do is interact, um, go outside into the balcony, first of all. And then we're going to... Um, Grab the cactus. Yes, cactus just chilling. That's what we're going to do. Grab that one. So, there's a uh, little pig. Oh, little snuggum piggy. You'll be so fat and delicious. 
I'm just joking. I only eat vegan bacon now, except for the meaty bacon that I also eat too. So we're actually just going to be waiting around for the time being. We're going to be on our way now in just a mo, Mr. Mo. Yeah, finally made it took your goddamn time didn't you? Right, so once he goes back into bed and he starts uh, sleeping, remember to sneak of course. Make sure to grab the key from the right hand side of his bed as well. That's going to come into handy. And sneak your way through life. Sneak your way. The snoring, uh, the snoring effect is hilarious as well. Remember to keep sneaking with the sleeping parrot of course. Parrot? Right, head into the right then, into the kitchen. Now, we're going to use the spicy Mexican corn chips with the corn chips right there. And then we're going to use the nitroglycerine on the pig bottle on the right. And then we can head back downstairs into the hall. That's going to get some people blasting. We're going to use the small key to get rid of the pig. And then we're just going to wait around for just a little second. So, again, I do apologize that uh, I went a bit quick there. But it's the spicy chips with the other chips, which are, of course, called crisps in UK country. Um, the nitroglycerin there on the pig bottle and we're going to release the pig. Then we can go back upstairs when he's done that anyway. And then we can use the um, pins with the bed. So use the pins with the bed. We're going to use the banana peel with the floor. The cactus next to the alarm clock. Uh, so, so the cactus next to the alarm clock. And then what we're going to do is wait for him until he gets to bed and puts his big fat teeth in there. So we can put the spicy sauce in there. So for now, what we're going to do is just head outside into the balcony and wait once more. I mean, to be fair, you'd think you'd move out by now, wouldn't you? But apparently not. So once that's done, once he's sleeping, remember to sneak. And we're going to put the spicy sauce in old Abe Simpson's teeth bags right here. There it is. And with that one, we can actually just head back into the balcony. And that is going to end the level. So, uh, yep, job done. One little peaky schnockoms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And speaking of one little piggy, it is now barbecue time. <coughs> Pepper Pig. She's getting on my goddamn barbecue, bro. Um, and, <laughs> sorry, I shut. I won't tell my uh, kids that because, well, my daughter will hate me. And I can't be asked to be hated. 
Not from my onlyest daughter. So, as we begin then, we're going to open the drawer once again to grab a few items. Oh, Pepper has gone on the barbecue this time. Oof. Head to the pin board to grab some pins and go to the left into the bathroom. And we're going to uh, take a look inside the medicine cabinet. And that's going to get us uh, some growth liquid and something else. So, what we're going to do, we're going to head upstairs. Now, wait for a moment. So, as you can see, all his steaks are in the kitchen. And he's got all of his bottles of beer, which are going to be outside in the balcony. So, head upstairs, sneak through the lounge again. And we're going to check the... Um, event. Well, eventually, when he goes upstairs, that is when... Or when he goes into the balcony, we can head out. We can have, qu have a quick look at the bedside cabinet. And you can either head back down. You should have enough time there to head back down easily. So, we're going to use the slipper on the meat pile, which is in the kitchen. Now, they look like a delicious bunch of steaks. That's why he's fattening up that pig with nitroglycerine. Make him already tasty on the way out. So, grab the peel from the bin once again. It's the banana peel. There it is. And we're going to check the fridge. Oh, unless you haven't got enough time, which you should not do, actually. So, <laughs> so yeah, you shouldn't have enough time there. So, again, we're just waiting. And this time, he's going to head upstairs. So, once he's up. Uh, Get out of the kitchen. Now we can go back inside. Have a look in the fridge. And then we're going to go um, into the lounge. Sorry. So we're going to go into the lounge here. And we're going to head back upstairs. And we're going to use the growth liquid here with the bottle. So we're going to hide underneath the bed for the time being. Wait until Chunky Nuggets uh, decides to get out. Then we're going to make, so make just make sure that you've got your growth liquid. I could use some growth liquid on my head, in all fairness, to be fair. The baldness and maybe my beard as well make me look hot. The baldness is not good. Anyway, get the growth liquid. Use that there with the bottle. <laughs> so he's just eating the slipper, which I can't believe it took him that long. <laughs> so not that bottle, but the squirty bottle right there. So not the beer bottles. We are going to use the rubbing alcohol though with the beer. And we're going to squeeze the fire extinguisher in the bedroom. So there's the fire extinguisher just next to the bed. So just go up to it. And with th with that's called the squeeze, the squeeze thing. And we can just hide under the bed once again. So one quick note here, I did mess up. Keep hiding under the bed until he comes back in and gets the fire extinguisher. So he's going to be on fire, but hide under the bed. You remain on hiding under the bed because he's going to come back in and grab the fire extinguisher. There we go. Now, I put the banana peel on the floor, but as you can see, I'm all glitched out. So he's going to come by and he's going to swing me, punch me in my big, big, massive woody nose. And he's going to put me in a random location in the house. Uh, so for whatever reason, it just didn't seem to work. So that's why I say always hide under the bed. And then once he's out there doing all that crap, then you can put the banana peel on the floor. And then we're just going to go to the lounge and use the pins in the chair with the lounge. Boom, boom, boom. I mean, it's a bit harsh, like. Although, I suppose we this is about, what, 10 days in a row now? So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Happy days, apparently. So, what we needed to do then, again, like I said, was head into the lounge. There's only two things left to do, mind. And then we're all done. Kidding! So, again, we're just going to have to wait until he eats his big, fat stick. So, once he finally bags off then, now I, again I make a mistake, you need to use the pins with the right side chair, not his TV chair, but the chair that he is sitting and eating his steak with. So you need to use the pins on that chair, and then the white vinegar with his wine bottle. So again, I did almost get caught, uh, that's because I was being very silly, very silly. But using the pins on the right chair here, and then finally using the vinegar with the wine bottle, and then we can go back downstairs, hide in the wardrobe, and life is grande once a grande.
Right then, time for some fitness frenzy. So, fitness frenzy it is then. So, this one has quite a few um, pranks to do. So, first of all, what we're going to do then, as we begin, of course, we're going to open the drawers once more. Now, the next door is open to the left of the drawers here to go in the basement. So, that's what we're going to do. Head into the left door, head down to the basement, go to the left and search the workbench. Ha! And we're going to pick up the spring here in the corner as well. And then we can head back out of here. Out of here. Check the bag in the middle of the hallway. And of course, keep having a look at the... Um, go into the bathroom here, check the cabinet again. So again, he's got various fitness items all over the place. Abs of steel, this bruh. So what we're going to do is head into the kitchen. Remember to sneak, because there is a dog in the kitchen here. Uh, and more rooms have unlocked, by the way, in case you didn't notice. So we're going to check the bin here for a cable. Now, it just looks like a white, thin cable. And it is that one. There it is. It's kind of thin. Yeah, that'll do. So we're going to return to the hall. And we are going to enter the lounge when the neighbor... You can interact with the rope here as well. That's going to be a prank. So if you just want to get that one out of the way, you can interact with the rope. And again, like I said, that's a prank. You don't need any other items for that. But as soon as the neighbor here goes into the kitchen. Then we can go ahead, go upstairs. We're going to use the wrench on the bike. The pipe wrench. And then we're going to head upstairs. So quick as you can, head upstairs. Use the spring on the trampoline in Broski's bedroom. Search the bedside table. And then we're going to grab a saw from the balcony. So the saw will be in plain view. There it is, as red as daylight. As red as my eyeballs after staying up till 12 o'clock. Yes, I can't do it anymore. I've hit my 30s. Right, we're going to go all the way to the left and go into the new newly found study. And we're going to use the book that we should have on the bookcase. Book on nuts. So use the book and then we're going to swap the fish food for steroids. So get the steroids out. Use them with the fish food. That is, uh, you're going to see how massive that brosie is going to become now. We're going to return to the kitchen. Eventually, let's just uh, take a look. Again, you can press the B button to see where the neighbor is if you can't see him. Uh, so he's just going for a uh, little bit of a jump rope right there. Fair play, he's a lot fitter than me. So, head into the kitchen. And we're going to sneak place. Again, sneak, of course. And just on the floor, it's going to be like in the sort of middle of the room. Um, again, sometimes it can be finicky, the um, positioning of where you need to be. But there it is. It should be right in the middle of the room there. So once you've done that one, we can return to the hall where the uh, our broski is not. And here is where Fishbro is. Uh, <laughs> God damn. I wish I was that big. Uh, put marbles on the floor. And now we're going to head back into the basement. So on the right hand side is the chest expander. We need to use the rubber band with it. Um, again, I was being silly and tried putting it on all items that wasn't a chest expander. But again, that chest expander is on the right hand side and you need to use the rubber band with it. So, uh... Oh, yes. <laughs> I so, I so silly now. There it is. Right. So I got there eventually. Now we're going to use the cable with the socket here. And then we're going to use the saw with the barbell. So use the saw with the barbell. And then we're going to head back upstairs. Go into the hall. If you haven't interacted with the rope already, interact with the rope right now. Again, bit of an edit there because I did actually miss it the first time. And then just hide in the wardrobe. Wait for Big Broski Bros to do his rounds. And uh, it, may, it may take a while, but wait for him to do his rounds. Get all trolled up. And then uh, that will be the end of... Fitness Frenzo. Ugh. <sighs>
So on to the readment, another readment laundry day, um, where this was in the game originally, then it wasn't, and then they readded it back in. So this is the second out of three levels for that. So first of all, again, have a look in the drawer for some more items. It's going to be marbles this time. And again, you're just going to see where he is. And once he goes into the kitchen there on the right hand side, we can head into the lounge, sneak again, because the dog is here, and then head upstairs. Head into the study here once again on the left hand side room, ignoring the zebra butt, and interact with the bookcase to get a paper knife. Head right and go outside into the balcony. Brrr, there's a pigeon rat right here. Grab the shovel, or the trowel, sorry, is what it's called. Oh, shovel, trowel, whatever you want to prowl. Right from here, then, we can just head back downstairs again, make sure to sneak. There is sleeping doggo right here. And then we can go, um, again, making sure that he is in the ba uh, the basement. We can interact with the bird food, which is on the floor just next to the dog. And then we can interact with the soap flakes and interact with the bin to get another cable. So again, you'll have to do the cable minigame thing. So that should, should be bird food, snowflake, uh, soap flakes, and the cut-off electrical cable. So go down and then head down into the basement. And then what you're going to do, we are going to... Have a look at the wine rack. That's going to get, grab us a bottle of wine. And have a look at the workbench. That'll get us some pliers. We're going to use the bottle of red wine with the washing machine. And use the pliers with the dryer next to it. Oh boy, aren't we pranky. Use the electric cable with the cables. And that is three pranks done in no time at all. So, in, uh, back into the hall then. We're going to go upstairs into the lounge. Again, make sure to sneak. Make sure that the neighbour is... He should be heading out if you've been quick enough. But we're going to use the shovel trowel with the dirt right here. Now we're going to put the soil... We're going to use... Put the soil down on the rug. And then make sure to use the paper knife and use that with the vacuum cleaner. So put dirt on the rug and then make sure to use the paper knife with the vacuum cleaner. And then we can head back down into the hallway. But for now we are just going to wait for El Neighborino to get blown up in the face with the vacuum cleaner. And leave so we can head back upstairs. <laughs> And there she blows. So, once he's gone, head into the lounge. Remember to sneak again, of course. 
Because old sleeping doggy, even though we could just be one man, but uh, who knows? We could just be the neighbor, who knows? Right, so once we're up here then, we are going to put the marbles on the floor. We are going to go to the left-hand side. And we're going to put this, uh, these soap flakes here with the fish food. So soap flakes with the fish food. Electroconocution happening. Unlucky Maka. Uh, so that's electroconocution happening. And then we are going to... Uh, well, there's actually nothing in the drawer, so don't worry about that. Of course, we've used the paper knife. So now we're good to go. So head outside. And we're going to be doing a little bit more waiting. So we actually have to hide under the bed. Wait until the old gammon man himself uses the iron, heads out to the balcony, and then we can interact with it. Why aren't we special? But for now, while you're waiting, you can actually go ahead and put the bird food um, outside on the balcony. And that'll just be another prank done, if you so wish. Um, so for some reason, I ended up doing, last, doing that last. But if you want, go put the bird food on the liner, on the dry kitchen line, whatever it is. Just before the neighbor comes, uh, otherwise you can just keep on hiding for a minute. So once that is bulgingly red hot, bulgingly red hot, as soon as he goes outside, A button to get out, interact with the iron to pop it down and that'll be unlucky, hides immediately under the bed again, and then of course just wait. Now of course if you would put the bird food outside before that pranks, we, this probably would have been all over by now, um, but it's all good. Um, yeah, I don't know why I waited for so long for that one. But once he has finished cleaning up the iron, off he goes. And then we're going to do the bird seed. So, like, again, like I said, again, if you've done the bird food uh, before you've done the iron, this level would have been over by now. So, uh, yeah, you would have done this a lot quicker than me. So, congratulations, Gate. But if you've done it the exact same as me, you're just going to have to wait for a second or two. So, time for a bit of DIY. So, time for a bit of DIY. Do it yourself. You want me to touch ye? Yeah, do it yourself. Right, open the drawers as usual. And head to the basement again. So, we've got a paper clip and some marbles. So, head to the basement. Use the cloth, which is just on here. Again, so just press the A button when you've got the cloth option. And search the workbench for some tong to tong tong tongs. And you'll have to do the minigame, of course. So these are what tongs look like. They look like big, well, tong, 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 tongs. So we're going to head upstairs now, and we're going to go into the kitchen and search the bin for cable. So when you've done that quick enough, you should be able to uh, go into the cable. Again, it's the same white cable that we've been using. And then, again, what we need to do when the neighbor goes down... Go inside the lounge, but we need to sneak upstairs. Again, there is a dog right next to the TV. And that dog stinks, dog. So sneak upstairs once again. We are going to use the tong to tong tong tongs in the ladder here, uh, on the ladder in the study right here. So use the tongs on the ladder. Go back into the bedroom, and we are going to open up that bedside table. To be fair, this guy's got a pretty nice house. Pretty big, man. So now we're going to... Uh, head to the balcony on the right and interact with the angle grinder. Yeah. That sounded more of an Arnie song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we're going to use the book. Uh, so we're going to actually head downstairs into the lounge now. So we've got a book on torture, which is unfortunate. Nut. Um, so again, he's gone downstairs, which is fine. So we're going to use the book on the instructions here in the lounge. So make sure to do it quickly, because he's on his way. Or he will be on his way soon. Um, 
And then when he's gone into the bathroom, what we can do is actually just wait here until he has finished. So if you if you want, if you make it easier for you, uh, you can go into the wardrobe, but he doesn't take too long in the toilet, as you can see, or in the bathroom. So once that's done, head downstairs and use... If there's a paperclip in there already, and Woody says no, press the A button here to take it out. Or just hide in the wardrobe, and basically old Chanky Boy's going to take it out for us. My apologies. Uh, we can't actually take it out. Once he has taken it out, and off he goes. Get back out of the wardrobe, put the paperclip into the fuse box, where he just got that one. And we're going to head back down into the basement. Use the cable on the socket in the basement. Now, have a look at the left-hand side to find a valve. Press this valve once. And you... So if you've pressed it once, what you will see... Oh, God, come on. What you'll see, if you have a look up... Oh, God damn it! So if you've closed that valve once, if you have a look up into the kitchen, you will see that the radiator will be bursting. That is what you need for the prank to occur. And it's the same with the other valve just next to the uh, washing machine, or right next to the cable. So there's two valves. You need to interact with both of those once. And basically to make sure that the radiator is bulging and that the sink, or the pipe in the bathroom where the sink was, is bulging as well. So we are, I will be showing you in just a minute. And again, we also need to put marbles on the floor as well, by the way. So... Uh, just, uh, let's just hold on. Let's hold on, dog. Yeah. Right, so get back out. Put the marbles on the floor. It's going to be in the middle of the floor somewhere, right? Meow. There it is. That'll do. That's the boy. And we can head back in. Now I'm going to show you exactly what it is. So, if you have a look in the kitchen, like I said, providing you close that valve, the kitchen radiator should be bulging a, a, a very easily, easy to see red Boiling hot. So after he's enjoyed being pranked, so keep checking because he does actually uh, interact with the valve. So as you can see, in the bathroom, it's stopped bulging, which means we need to get that working, uh, which is fine. So as long as the radiator here is bulging, what you need to do is quickly get out, head back into the basement, and interact with this valve right next to the cable. Ah! That's a big lot of steam, dog. To interact with this valve once, so that the blue is um, sort of at the top left-hand corner. Then get back into the wardrobe and have a look then, just to make sure that that is bulging. That genuinely reminds me of everyone's own weenuses when you're absolutely busting for a whiz. That is what happens. So if, if girls, you didn't know, um, yeah, boys, boys' pinuses, um, that's what happens when you need a wee. They bulge like that sink. It's incredible what you don't know. <laughs> of course, I'm just joking. But anyway, this will be the last prank. That is this one done.
Right, so we've locked, unlocked Season 3. Now we're going to do the third out of three levels of the levels that were it were in the game and then they weren't and then they got put back in. But we've only got two levels left in Season 2 now. Thank God. So, first up, we are, as ever, going to interact with the draw. Um, we're going to get some black shoe polish and some marbles. Head down into the basement. Now, we're going to be doing a new mini game. So have a look at the rat in the hole in the wall. Hole in the wall with a... Punch of ice. All you got to do is keep the rat in the middle of the screen. Obviously, the longer that it's in the middle of the screen, the quicker the percentage goes up. So this will be basically the main mini game for the rest of the game. So once you've picked up the rat, interact with the workbench, and that'll get us a rusty nail. Again, always keep checking where the neighbor is. Heading up, back into the hallway, head left and go into the bathroom. And then what you can do is just interact with the cabinet to get some super glue. And then we are going to wait just for a moment. Um, Broski is going to enter into the kitchen. There is the bottle that he's after. It is right where his nitroglycerin pig bottle was. So there we go. So we will be coming back to grab that later on. As soon as he's out of it, he's going into the lounge for a smoke. We're going to head upstairs. And then we're going to interact with the bin for another cable. So again, the same white cable that we've been doing. Yep. That'll be the boy. And again, don't worry, he's just playing with his records for the time being, so that's all good. So we're just going to wait for a little while. Oh, we also got some cork as well, so yeah. Some cork. So as soon as he nips off then, there we go, he's going down, we're going to go up, make sure to sneak, the dog is up in the bedroom immediately, so make sure to sneak in the bedroom, head to the left into the study, and we're going to have a look at the trophy case, it was a bookcase, it is now a trophy case, to grab some gunpowder, right, once again sneak into the bedroom, and then we're going to use the uh, cork, or we're going to interact with, sorry, we're going to interact with the cartridges, sorry, by the bedside table. Not the cork. So make sure you grab those cartridges and we're heading down in back into the kitchen. And then from here, we can just wait for a few secs. And then we can head back down when he's out of the hallway. Right, from here, go into the basement. And then what you're going to do, you're going to use the cork with the shotgun first, which is on the wall. So use the cork first, very importantly. Then use the cartridge. And then we can uh, use the cut-off electrical cable in the other cable once again. Once that's done, we can head into the hallway, head back into the kitchen. He should be upstairs. And once again, we are going to be waiting for quite a bit now. So, if you want, you can use the black shoe polish on the bottle. That's what we can do. And, as I said, from now, we are going to wait ever so slightly. Again, just make sure to get out, because he is coming to pull the bottle back. So we can head back upstairs and if you want to, we can just put the marbles down since we've got a little bit of waiting to do. So pop the marbles down and just wait around for five.
Right then, so what we're gonna do then? This is where we're gonna get things going. Uh, you can't interact with the dog whistle yet. We need to, to wait for him to open up the... Even though we could probably just, you know, open it ourselves, but apparently we've got to wait. As soon as he does that, interact with the dog whistle. He is gonna start flying upstairs, so now we can go into the lounge. So what we're going to do is use the rusty nail on the gramophone. I think it's called a gramophone. Please don't kill me if I got it wrong. And then use the gunpowder with the uh, smoky pipe pipe. Use the... In fact, then we can get out of here. So rusty nail on the gramophone thing. And then the gunpowder in the uh, pipey muck pipe. And then we're just going to wait a few more seconds for him to get really annoyed. So once Mr. Angry Man is heading downstairs, we can go upstairs, but again, remember to sneak. So we are going to continue to sneak as we head upstairs. Few things left to do here. What we're going to do is use the rat with his medals. So use the mat, mat, rat with the medals, or the box of medals, box of trophies or whatever, his army stuff, and then use the super glue with the hat. And then we're going to interact with the bedside table. That is going to get us a balloon. So we're not quite done yet. So sneak outside again. There's the dog. You don't want him biting your bowels off. And then we're going to use the balloon with the trombone. Not a rusty trombone, but the regular trombone. And if you don't know what a rusty trombone is, just don't Google it. I promise you, don't Google it. Uh, so once that's done, we can head back inside. Sneak in, of course, as usual. Then we can just hide under the bed and wait for the fireworks to explode him on again. And that was actually the last house mission as well. So, on to a new location. Lots of holidays now. Last one of season two. Let's do it. So, all aboard! Why I just sang the Peppa Pig theme tune, I got no idea. But anyway. So, new location. What we're going to do is open the bag on the chair, right here on the deck chair, to get a hair clip. So, we need a hair clip. You know what a hair clip looks like. That's what they do. Every girl knows and every guy knows because there's uh, plenty of them if you've got a girlfriend. And we're going to open the chest here on the right-hand side of the screen. Now, don't worry, he's going to be, for the majority, staying upstairs. So, um, that gets us some soap anyway. So, what we can do, we're going to use the hairpin here to interact with the cabinet. And again, like I said, it's going to be always one of these mini games where you have to keep it in the middle as close as you can. Now, we can head upstairs. Now... Don't worry, the next character here, Olga, who is completely T-H-I-double-C, she is thick, man. She doesn't care what you get up to, so don't worry about her. But we're going to use the pen knife on the buffet table, and then we're going to head to the right side of the screen. Uh, so go down, and then we're going to head to the right-hand side of the screen. What we're going to do is use the wrench on the railing. So head upstairs, again, make sure that he is uh, all like, oh. Uh -huh. So use the wrench on the railing. Use the soap with the mop bucket. And then we can just head back downstairs for the time being. 
until he gets, you know, flung off the boat. Now, what when he gets flung off, he will appear on the left-hand side where we are right now. So, just be careful. I made that mistake. So, just stay downstairs until he appears right here again after he gets flown off the ship. <laughs> As you can see, unfortunately, I got my, uh, my my woody nose has just shrunk a little bit, as it were. Right, so, uh, what we could do then, we'll just, uh, I guess we'll just head back downstairs. So, what we need to do, basically, when the neighbour has fallen off the ship, there's now a ladle by the buffet table. So, we're going to pick up that ladle near the buffet table. Once he's at the right side of the screen, so pick it up. Interact with the pot on the left-hand side with the ladle. And then use that with the captain's hat. And we can just uh, chill out, head downstairs, and that will be this one done. You will get the second strike achievement, and the third season we can do. 12 levels left to go. Oh, yeah. So, welcome to Season 3 then. This is where we're going to get quite a few sort of different locations. Some of the same, but obviously they got different stuff in it, just like it has with the house. But anyway, I will tell you exactly what to do. So, first off, we're going to head to the bin to pick up a fin on the left-hand side. There's the bin, pick up a fin. Then we're going to go to the right-hand side of the screen. And we're going to pick up a reed. So, pick up a reed from the big pile of reeds. We're going to pick, now we're going to go to the lower left side of the screen. We're going to pick up a bucket. Again, obviously just make sure that the neighbor is, uh, well, he's, make sure he's just not this side of the screen. So pick up the bucket there from next to the stairs. And then the swordfish sign just to the left of the stairs, we're going to interact with that to pick up the saw. Grab some seaweed in the bottom left hand corner. And then we're going to use a reed on the hole near the boy to get a crab. So right here, make sure to use a reed. It is another one of those mini games, so just make sure to do that. There we go. So he should, again, be going upstairs now. As you can see by his thought bubble, he's off to have a look at the right-hand side corner of the screen. So when the um, small boat has reached the shore, which it should have by now, attach the shark fin to it. We are going to head to the right, and we're going to add the crab to the cooler. Now, I do end up messing this up. Uh, for whatever particular reason, uh, it just it didn't go down the first time. I don't know why. No idea why. So he ends up catching me now. But we do need to put the crab in that cooler. So yeah, this one is definitely very finicky, um, but I do end up just about doing it uh, until he catches me and beats the schnoz bag out of me. So once again, my big massive schnoz nose uh, gets where well, it gets shrunken just a little bit more. Because that is a hell of an uppercut as well. But anyway, once we have added the crab to the cooler, we can again make sure he goes upstairs. We're going to interact with the rake and then we're going to place the seaweed on top of it. So make sure you get the seaweed from your inventory, place it on top. We're going to move to the, uh, we're going to go to the top left, but we're going to head left first and then head up. We're going to use the bucket on the tank. So again, the bucket that we got earlier from the stairs, use that with the tank. And then we're going to head right. Again, making sure that the neighbor's downstairs. Use the saw on the bridge. And then use the eels with the water. And then we can actually just head to the left-hand side of the screen. 
and have a chill out until this episode finishes. Wow, that looks pretty ominous, huh? Uh, what speech are you giving there? And Freises and Greisen and Hitler nuts? No, uh, on to the next level then. This cabin is occupied. Right, first of up, head right, and we're going to search the handbag next to Big Thick Olga. God damn, she is thick. It is another mini game, so remember to do the mini game. And I'll tell you what, if you can have the worst face imaginable, but if you've got an ass like uh, Olga is picking, then that's fantastic. That's like me. Right, we're going to pick up the bowl here on the counter as well. And then after he goes to the left, we're going to head to the right side steps, heading up. And we're going to grab a cannonball. He's going for a cheeky dump, which uh, that's a terrible toilet. You don't want anyone smelling that. So grab a cannonball and the oil can, which is just up next to the wall. And then what we can do is use the tights on the generator. So uh, the nylon tights that we have, we're going to use that with the nylon the nylon generator. The generator. He's heading down to the left. So that's fine. So what we're going to do, once he's down there, we can head to the left-hand side. Uh, remaining up top, go into the toilet. We're going to use the tools near the toilet, which is on the right, just to the right of the toilet. We need to pick the tools up. Stop saying, stop saying, ah, ah. All right, there we go. So pick up the tools. Uh, now what we need to do is use the chili on the toilet paper, which is again just to the right of the toilet. So use the chili on the toilet paper and the oil on the chute above the toilet, which is to the left-hand side. There it is. It's just to the left. It's like a little lever thing. So make sure to use that one. That's oil. And then we can just head down. Again, wherever the neighbor's coming, he's coming back top left. So we're going to head to the right and down. And then we're going to use the uh, cannonball on the watermelons. Not Olga's watermelons, by the way. Uh, so use the cannon here on the watermelons in the bottom left. Wow, that is... Uh, Kim Jong... Uh, <laughs> Kim Jong 11T is not looking good, is he? He is not looking... But don't nuke me. Sorry, your, your glorious uh, majestic leader. Uh, so to use the cannonball on the watermelons, use the spanner on the bike, and that will do fine, just fine. End of episode. And you just got to wait, of course, until uh, episode ends. Oh. Oh.
whom the gong sounds. Apparently it is. So, from whom the gong sounds. Again, another easy one. So, first of all, have a look at the crane machine and do the mini game to get the teddy. Like I said, as usual, if you want to have a look where the items are or, and wait until the neighbor does a predetermined route, you're always welcome to do that. So, head right and we're going to grab a brick. Oh, we're bricking. I'm bricking it, bro. So, we're going to give the teddy to the kid and we're going to pick up the bonsai scissors. He gives us some pot party poppers. We're going to pick up the bonsai scissors and then we're going to head down. And we're going to pick up the rice bowl, which is to the right of the steps. So make sure to grab that. Right. Head left. Grab the umbrella pole. He's up there gonging. So, you know, gong worry. Don't worry about a gong. Grab the umbrella pole there. And then when he nips off to the right, what we're going to do is go upstairs and use the umbrella stand with the gong above. And you can already see where this is going. It's going to be a hilarious whack. Not hilarious if it was you. Right. Uh, use the rice bowl on the grease next to the guy right here. So make sure you've got a rice bowl with grease. Then we are going to head down. Basically, we need to use the brick on the karate setup. So you probably could have gone down the left-hand side stairs and uh, used it um, before he got there. In fact, you can still probably do that. But I took my time and ruined it. So use the brick with the karate setup, which is just next to the giant poster. Otherwise, again, if you were a bit too cautious like me right there, that's fine. You just wait for him to do his things and head back up the left-hand side set of steps. Right, so when he's finally gone then, now we can use the brick on the karate setup. And if we head to the left, we're going to use the grease that the ch on the chariot that Olga is sitting on. Olga 1 and Olga 2. <coughs> Three, <laughs> two big Olgas. Oh, man. You know what? That genuinely made the whole lower half of me just completely mess up for two seconds. Right, so we're going to head upstairs and get some more grease when the neighbor bag is off that side. Oof, just about got away with that one again. So use the empty rice bowl to get some more grease. Then we are going to head right, and we're going to use the party poppers on the hot dogs. I think I'm going to get a bit ahead of myself here. I do. So just wait, of course, until the neighbor bag is off. Then <laughs> away he goes. So once he's done that, this time we'll safely use the party poppers with the hot dogs. And then, for the last couple of things, what we're going to do is, in fact, there's just the last two things we're going to do. So, once uh, the old gaminated flag hugger right here nips off to the left, we are going to use the scissors on the necklace, and then the grease with the vase, and then we can just stand near Olga as a safe hiding place. So, there's the necklace in the middle. Use the scissors with it. Yeah! Off, oh, mate. She is fuming. Look at that. I would love to get in a wrestling match with Olga, to be honest. I think. What am I? What am I saying? But damn that juicy booty. Anyway, enough of that now. Enough of that. Olga would be damn good on OnlyFans, in all fairness. She maybe she, she would make a killing. So after, again after this bit, and he's finished eating his flip flop, which I wouldn't want to eat. Probably full of uh, toe cheese and stuff like that. <laughs> Use the grease on the vase. After you have used the scissors, of course, on the necklace. Then we can just wait by Olga until the episode <laughs> finishes. Olga, you are my favorite.
Ping pong time. It is ping pong fuchsius time. Well, that'll do. Okay, so still in the same sort of area then, as we will begin. Right, so immediately what we need to do is wait for the chef to take his glasses off and then we're going to take them. So it doesn't take too long. So as soon as he takes them off there, so just keep pressing the A button and eventually it should be the second time that he takes it. We're going to grab an egg from the cage, from the chicken cage. It is another mini game. Uh, a lot of eggs. Whoever developed this game is definitely a protein enthusiast, a cheap protein enthusiast. Anyway, grab the egg, head right, and then we're going to open up this box. And then make sure to grab the hammer, which is directly next to it. So make sure to grab the hammer there. So what we need to do is head down, and we need to grab the rope from the anchor. So just be careful, but there is the anchor with the rope attached to it. Make sure to pick that. Head left. If the neighbor's skiing, he won't see you. But we're going to grab the dynamite here from the box. Little box full of dynamite. Then we're going to head up. And we're going to use the tube that we should have. So we use the tube with the barrel of eels. So what we can do now is head once again to the right. The neighbor should start coming up. There he is. So head right. We're going to put the dynamite on the lion statue. And then we're going to use the glasses on the statue to get the head. Job done. So make sure to pick up the head. There we go. And so for some reason, it takes old Gaminated Boy quite a while to realize that he's eating tube, not eel. So we're going to head down and we're going to use the lion head with the sand sculpture that the little kid is building. So swap that one out. And then we're going to use rope with the fireworks. Again, if he's coming down, obviously just make sure to head off to the uh, other side. Otherwise, we're going to use the ropes with the fireworks. Get out of there, boy, quick. Again, sometimes I am too cautious. Uh, but that's fine, so we're just going to wait for a few seconds. That's painful, yeah? Right, so he's coming to the ping pong table, so we'll quickly get up the stairs and head back down and around. Because what we need to do is use the hammer with the skis. So use the hammer there with hammer and nails with the skis. Now, what I could have actually done while I was waiting is use the duck egg with the ping pong table. That's the last thing that we got to do. So uh, I do apologize about that one there, just taking my time a bit. But when he bangs off, we will use the duck egg with the ping pong um, ping pong table, and uh, just wait for the inevitable chaos to ensue, and that will be the end of this episode.
Right, so time to go back on another holiday. We're going on the boat once again. Grande! On the boat again. So, first of all, we are going to open up the toy box directly uh, behind us to open up the whoopee cushion and then search the sports bag for a rubber band. So the rubber band should just be the red one that we used earlier in the house. There we go. We've got that one. So when the coast is clear, we're going to head up and right. Now, this is where the mother is as well, by the way. So she sleeps a lot. So you'll have to do a lot of sneaking. Um, but you do need to avoid the mother as well. Because she can beat the crap out of you worse. So, like I said, the mother does sleep a lot. So what we need to do then is just wait here. Now, basically, uh, the old gammon man will take the dog and leave the dog blanket Aside, As you can see, the mother is now sleeping. So, once that is done and he's gone to the left-hand side, start sneaking and make sure to grab the dog blanket. So, it adds a little bit of suspense, a little bit more suspense and a little bit extra danger, but it's not nothing too bad. So, head back to the right anyway. And use the whoopee cushion on the pile of cushions right here. Now, what we are going to need to do is wait for Mama to fall asleep again and sneak to use the vending machine. So, for now, just keep an eye on where the old gammon man is. And again, uh, just keep waiting. There she goes. She's fallen asleep now, as you can obviously see by the graphics. So, head to the left. Sneak to the left, of course. And we're going to use the vending machine. Uh, again, you'll have to do the mini game. There you go, so you should have enough time anyway to do this one. And obviously sneak down to the left-hand side. There you go, so you should just about have enough time. So we are all good in the hood. Good in the hood, oh yeah. Right, so what we're going to do is head down. We're going to use the rubber band with the harpoon. Now, the harpoon is directly on the stairs. It can be kind of hard to miss. Or easy to miss, sorry. Um, that one. But the rubber band is directly by the harpoon. So... I'm being completely silly right now. Um, but it is literally up against the stairs. There it is. So using the rubber band with the harpoon. Then we're going to use the rabbit with the launching pad. Which is on the left hand side. So that's the launching pad. So use the rabbit with it. And then head right. And we're going to use the dog blanket with the towel. Which is on the dumbbell. Or the barbell sorry. Not the dumbbell. What am I stupid? So once that's done. We can wait for the top right hand corner to uh, be free. Because uh, we need to use the denture cream with the fishing box. So there's the fishing box directly in front of us. So use the denture cream with it. And then we can just hide in the giant pipe. That's all finished. And we will, after this, we will unlock the season, uh, the fourth season achievement. But we will have one more episode left to do in Soys and Thwai.
Oh, mummy's darling. Oh, mummy's mummy's little soldier. Mummy's baby boy. But it is mummy's darling. So this is the final one that we can do. So what we're going to do then is immediately grab a sea urchin. This one, for some reason, took me a few tries, but uh, I interact with the, uh, the moped here on the left, or the bicycle, to grab pedal, a pedal, and then interact with the moped on the right to grab a spring. It will just automatically grab the spring. So, in fact, we're going to now head left to grab a whiskey bottle, again, making sure that the neighbor is not there. So, head left to grab the whiskey bottle, and then when the mother goes underwater, so she's going to hold her breath for a few minutes, incredibly, we're going to head up. And then we're going to use the spring with the diving board. We'll have to do this again a little bit later on. We use the spring with the diving board. And the pedal on the awning. But we can't do that just yet. So we need to head to the right. As soon as the neighbor heads downstairs. Well, there we go. So once he starts going, we can now head to the right. We're going to give the whiskey to the bartender. And we can now pick up the bucket. And we can get the tongs from the barbecue barbecue just to the right of it so pick up the bucket and the tongs we're going to again make sure that the mother is sleeping and then sneak and again make sure that the neighbor's not about we can get some water from the tap with the ice bucket and um again we can sneak to the right of course we won't have enough time to go downstairs we're going to place the bucket here under the elephant and then we can head down and use the tongs with the hole in the sand to get a crab. So it should be directly in front of us. We need to use the hole in the floor to get some tongs. And once we've done that, this little mini gwim. Mini gwim. There we go. Uh, eventually. And then we're going to put the crab in the conch directly to our right. Right next to chunk the chunky but beautiful Olga. And then we need to pick up another crab from the hole, from the same place hole. So exactly what I'm not doing right now, but use the tongs with the hole in the sand again to get another crab. Yeah! So he does that, and now the awning has fallen down. So we will have to do that whole little section again, which is fine. Uh, but use the barbecue tongs again. So eventually, I think if I'd have done this a lot quicker... Um... In fact, I don't think... No, I don't get seen here. I almost do. So, when we've grabbed that, then what we can do is use the crab with the sandcastle that on the left-hand side, which the kid is playing with. We do need to pick up another sea urchin. So, uh, sorry, I do apologize. Make sure to pick up another sea urchin. Use that with the towel. So, you should have plenty of time. Apologies that I didn't say, but you should have plenty of time to go back, get another sea urchin, and um, use it with the towel. And then finally, what we are going to do then, we again make sure that the mother is underwater or sleeping. But you need to use the pedal now with the awning. And then you use the spring again. So interact with the spring right now. And then um, eventually old Chunky Boy will... Oh man. Yeah, so again, apologies, I did sort of mess that one up. But you need to interact with the spring again. Because the old Gammon Man will jump on the water again. Oh, there we go, so... Yeah, yeah, so... I do make this a little bit longer, which I do apologise for, but again, you should have had enough time there to interact with the spring. He's going to jump on him, and um, he's going to go straight up to his mother, ending this section. So, yes, I was just a little bit cautious right there. So, uh, as long as the mother is underwater, again, you should have had plenty of time earlier to interact with the spring again. He literally just stands it up, that's all. And then you can head to the right-hand side because she's almost out of water. Or, if you had time, to go back downstairs and hide in the closet or the bench thing, whatever. Um, so, yeah, I do apologise. I could have made that a little, <laughs> a little less longer. Um, but as long as the awning's out of the way and the spring is back up, you can now just go ahead, hide back in the same place that we were on the big bench thing, 
and wait for the episode to end. Right, mate, on to season four. Grande, so we've got six episodes left and then one more left to do. But we are in another new location. So I'll tell you what to do. And if we can try and do this quickly, then brilliant. But these ones did take me a little while, in all fairness. Uh, quite a few tries to get this one in a good routine. So immediately grab the spade, which is by the door, and pick up a balloon, a deflated balloon. Examine the mouse hole on the left-hand side here. And do the mini game once again, of course, to pick up El Rato Beanie. Do -do -do -do. So eventually we should be good. So once we do have the rat, we can now head to the right. Again, of course, wait for the neighbor. He will start heading downstairs now. There we go. So head to the right and we're going to use the spade. Again, right again. So, But use the spade on the seesaw. And then use the balloon on the snake charmer right there. So right there on the right, so spade on the seesaw, uh, balloon with the snake charmer. So when it is safe, because the mother will go into this little tent thing and she'll be in there for a while. So head down, we're going to use the mouse on the rock pile, which is to the left of us. Interact with the rake first, and then use the mouse pile here on the rock to get a snake. And then what we need to do is interact with the wire down here, just past the rake. We need to interact with the um, sponge and chalk on the board next to the tent. And the round board of nails. So make sure you've got all them. And interact with the dog to let him go as well. So that was the wire, the sponge and chalk, the rake, the round board of nails. And interact with the dog to let him go. So head to the left. Use the nail board here with the shoe cleaner. And then what we're going to need to do is head up. As long as the neighbor is not around. And grab another mouse. <laughs> And once L mouse has been grabbed once again, we can use it on the elephant. So, again, if he is on his way, obviously you'll just have to um, head to the right, which I think he will be. In fact, no, he's all good. He needs to pick up the dog and head off. So, use the mouse with the elephant rather than the chalk line, of course. Again, it can be kind of finicky again, some of these um, placings. And then we're going to use the sponge and chalk with the line on the floor. Oh, that was a... Uh, oh, he's, no, he's heading up. But what we need to do is actually head up now and use the cable with the tap. So the tap with the water is right there, just close to the um, the mouse. He's going to start heading to the right, so you can actually head up, which is fine. So head up, use the cable here with the tap. And then we just need to use the snake with the hanging ball to the left of us. Burp! Boybenschleugen! So use the snake here with the hanging bowl of money. And then we can hide in the basket in the middle right here until, again, the inevitable chaos ensues Aronis.
Right, five more to go. Now we are burning with ambition. No, nope, that's just a water infection. My pee burns. That's not ambition. That is a water infection, like I said. Nah, joking. Right, anyway. Um, <laughs> no, my pee's just fine. Right, immediately behind you, pick up the fuel can and the matches. So you should have the fuel can and the matches. We're going to head up when um, Broski here goes to the right. I'm going to use the pen knife with the flowers. Remember that the mother is still about, of course. She will be always be around, so use the pen knife with the flowers anyway. Head down, and we're going to use the flower with the cow. So where are we going to be sticking that? Who knows? Anyway, use the flower with the cow. Head right, and we're going to pick up the bellow, which is the big fire bellow things, and the nappy, which is on the uh, desk. Again, obviously making sure that the margo is in the tento. So what we're going to do is head left. Now we're going to pick up some cow poop. Because, of course, you'd stick that happily in your pocket, obviously. Then we're going to head up. Again, make sure the neighbor's on the right. Just make sure that he is not coming all the way over, which he's not. So we can head up. We're going to use the fuel on the floor just in front of the fire breather. So the, the uh, trough with the fuel, use that on the, the ground. Now we're going to head right and use the matches on the manhole cover. So just to the right of the door there. So bob that one off. Then we're going to use the bellows on the coal to the right again. So make sure to use the bellows on the right. It is a mini game, So just be careful. Again, like I said, normally three lives is plenty. Uh, there may be a couple of occasions where you don't uh, use... Uh, where you get caught. But use the nappy uh, on the coals then as well. Then use the fuel can on the bowl water just to the right of it. And that one is done. So you're using the bellows, the nappy on the coals, and use the fuel can on the bowl of water. Next, we're going to head down and we're going to use the cow poop with the ice cream machine. Oh boy, you already know where this is going, don't you? So again, just make sure to wait here. Just keep uh, hovering on the stairs for now. That is fine. Um, I always press the B button because the mother will always be sort of... She doesn't stand still when that happens. She continues to go. So I do just about get away with this one here. But interact the cow poop here with the ice cream machine. There we go. And once that is done, we can head um, left now. And then we can head up. Now what we were needing to do was we, we were going to try and use his nappies there with his shoes. But it took too long. And obviously we're going to have to need, we need to, to wait for him to come around again. But that's fine. What we can do is head down. Use the pen knife on the cow. Ouch, ouch, ouch. And damn, looking better than there. Uh, Pepper Pig Barbecue. Uh, but anyway, use the pen knife on the cow. And then what we're going to do is actually just head up and hide in the basket for the time being. Because we now, uh, because of my cautiousness once again, we actually have to wait until the neighbor uh, pops around and takes his shoes off and goes into the middle of the door which we are right by so just hold on for a few minwas Right, so what seems like forever, we can now get out and we can head up and use the nappy on his shoes, go back into the basket, and that will be the end of this episode. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Right then, so this is one of the levels, the Enlightenment, um, which for some reason took me about five or six times to do, to try and get a decent routine down, because uh, they seem to sort of, the neighbour seems a little bit quicker for some reason in this one, even though he's not. So, what we're going to do as we begin, we're going to pick up a sea urchin immediately, and then we can head uh, up, and we need to sneak left, so the mother should already be sneaking, but we need to pick up the fishing net from the, or diving ball, close to the diving ball. So pick that one up, and then Im immediately go to the right, and interact with this big shrine to pick up a dog bone from the bowler. Once that's done, we can head down and use the sea urchin with the turban stall on the right-hand side. So that'll be the first prank done. So with that one done, we can now pick up another sea urchin, as long as the uh, neighbor's gone, which he should be. So pick up a sea urchin, few things we're going to quickly do in this area. So first of all, we're going to pick up the cricket bat from the sea, the suntan lotion from next to the deck chair, and then we're going to pick up Olga's bra when she goes for a shower. Uh, no nips, we don't see no nips. Uh, but what we're going to do is use the fishing net on the tools on the left-hand side. It is another mini game, but use the fishing net with the tools next to the deck chair. Olga does not come out, uh, which will automatically, of course, pick us up the tools. I bet that hurt, mate, didn't it? Jesus. So you automatically pick up the tools anyway. So with the tongs, we can interact with the pipe next to the stairs to get an octopus. Don't worry about him. He's off back upstairs. So pick up the octopus. Job done. So from here, what we're going to do then is head to the right. Just make sure, of course, that he is just chilling. And we can put the octopus straight into the turban stall once again. So we're getting him twice with that one. Uh, we don't need a sea urchin this time. We should all be good. So what we're going to do, what you can actually do here is you need to put the cricket bat next to the elephant as well. Uh, but for now, we're putting Olga's bra in the watermelon. So Olga's bra in the watermelon to get a melon catapult. But like I said, while you've got time, um, make sure to use the cricket bat with the elephant. Otherwise, we're going to sneak to the left, put suntan oil on to the diving board. And you can try and put the dog bone on there, but it will it will not work just yet. So that's why I said, for now, put the cricket bat next to the elephant on the right-hand side. Um, because you need to do that. Um, I, I end up just wasting time and then doing it last for some reason. So again, one more time, use the cricket bat with the elephant. Um, otherwise, what we will do... Uh, oh, well, after you've done that, what we can do is head to the left. We're going to use the melon catapult with the um, light pole right here, just next to, or just to the left of the deck chair. And we will put the sea urchin down on the deck chair. So that's why we needed to pick up another sea urchin earlier on. So, um, once Broski here is down there, what we can do is wait for Mama to fall asleep again. Because we need to put the dog bone in the empty dog basket. <laughs> Squidward. Squidward. Right, so eventually, Mama Pie is going to fall asleep. Olga is still incredibly looking for her braski. So if you put the cricket bat next to the elephant, another prank would be happening by now. Uh, but make sure to go up anyway and put the bone in the dog bowl. So yeah, another prank should be happening right now, but sneak back down. And you can actually just go ahead and hide um, in the oil bin. So when it's clear, we can head up to the right and hide in the oil bin when it's clear. And that will be the end of that chapter again. Because of my cautiousness and my forgetfulness to put the cricket bat next to the elephant straight away, um, this is obviously going to take a little bit longer. Yours should be a little bit quicker. Huh? <laughs> 
Neighbor overboard! Neighbor overboard! So, a few things left to do here then. Not getting close to the end now, but half hour away of the video. Right, so first of all, we're going to head immediately through the door that we were in to head downstairs. Don't worry, he doesn't come in here. Search in the drawer for a coin, and then grab a hook from behind the picture. So interact with the drawer. You'll have to do the uh, three in a row minigame, and make sure to interact with the picture. So you should have a bent nail and a coin. Uh, grab a sausage as well from the plate, also in this room. So grab the sausage from the plate. That looks half delicious. Anything looks good, because I am a chunky boy. Uh, so grab the sausage. Right, what we need to do is head up. And uh, we need to interact with the urinal here to to uh, search it and grab a urinal cake or urinal tablet. Uh, we're going to head back into the room because he is on his way. So we just do need to wait here for a second. Uh, but otherwise, we are going to head up once again and grab the fire extinguisher. Oh, <laughs> it's all kicking off. So eventually, old uh, Chungy Malungi will go when he stopped messing around with stuff. I tell you what, they must be rich to afford a private cruise like this. Or well, nobody wanted to go on this one. It's like a bad Titanic. Oh, well, I don't think anything can get worse than the Titanic, actually. Or maybe the beginning bit before the crash. So, when the coast is clear, and Big Dude is to the left, and Mama is sleeping, she take, she doesn't take long, so we need to go up, interact with the fire extinguisher to grab that, and then we need to give the dog the sausage, and open up the handbag for a nail file. So, you have to do the mini game as well, so make sure to do that. So, grab the dog sausage, nail file, and grab the fire extinguisher. Uh, my cautiousness, again, did get me kicked in the nuts. Which is just unfortunate, uh, but it did put me to the left-hand side, which is fine. Because that's what we need to do. Um, in fact, keep heading down. So if that does happen, while you're flashing, you don't get seen. So, oh man, son of a... I, yeah, that was my fault there. But what we actually need to do is go to where the boy is. And we need to use the urinal cakes there with the sweet bowl. So uh, you should... Be able to go back up, you know, by taking the time, which would come in handy as well. So, heading back up. Now, we can... There you go. She's finally going to sleep, you son of a monkey. So, using the urinal cakes there with the sweet bowl. We're going to use the file with the toilet signs. So, the nail file. Use that with the toilet signs. We're going to use the nail on the fishing rod, which is just to the left of us. So, the bent nail on the fishing rod to the left of us. And then we can finally head down... And we're going to use the nail file on the lifeboat. Now, again, this is a bit of a finicky bit. You do have to find a specific part for it. Oh, man, you've just... You've literally just... Oh, dude, oh, man, that's gone wrong. That's gone terribly wrong. But anyway, you do need to back away from the lifeboat a bit in order for the sign to come up. Um, but anyway, you do need to pick up the, one of these um, air cylinders anyway. So make sure to pick up the air cylinder. And now we can use the nail file. So it is another mini game. The keep it in the middle mini game. So using the nail file on the lifeboat, then you can pick up the air compressor near the stairs. You should have already just picked up the air compressor. Once you've done that, 
go to the right and use the air compressor here on the life jacket. So that's going to pump that up. Lovely. Uh, he is on his way down, so uh, you will have to go downstairs once again, which is fine, just fine. <gasps> But once he finally knobbed off upstairs, uh, what we can do is... Uh, well, he's about to finally knob off upstairs, isn't he? Uh, but when he does, we need to pick up another air compressor. So immediately head to the left, pick up another air compressor. And then what you need to do is use the fire extinguisher now with the oxygen tank, which was near the life jacket. So use the fire extinguisher, not the air cylinder. It will be the fire extinguisher. And then when Mama Bear is sleeping, we need to sneak up once again, and we need to hit you, uh, head left. So there she is. I mean, Mama Bear is thick as well, but god damn, she is... Uh, -hoo. I wouldn't want to mess with Mama Bear right there. Right, so once she's fallen asleep, again, kind of got lucky and away with that one. So sneak through. We need to use the coin with the phone next to where the boy is with the urinal cake treats now, apparently. So use the coin with the phone. Now, uh, Gammon Man is going to head downstairs. And use the fire extinguisher, or the air cylinder, sorry, with the kid. So give the kid the air cylinder, and then we can just head down, interact with the deck chair, and wait for the chaos to ensue <laughs> Diddly Middly Michael Jackson action. It is action. The penultimate level. So, Viva Mexico. Another two new locations right here. So, and again, these ones you've got to be kind of quick with. So, grab the uh, dagger from the skeleton. Uh, just because the mother and the son do sort of cross paths quite a lot. So, uh, you can hide in the statue where mother is right there. On the next, in the middle, is the um, statue where we can hide. Or we can hide in the mine shaft right there, the little mine cart. So anyway, head up and grab the paint can. All painty can, Ned. So we're gonna head back down the stairs. So again, if you need to interact with this minecraft, we we'll just walk a mine cart to hide in it. Head back down. We're going up again. Just make sure that they both go to the left once they do. Um, have a look at the parrot's nest just off to the left there to grab a um, gem, and then just before going up, have a look at the right here to get some resin off the doorway. Then we can head up. Now we're going to grab some corn to the left of the doorway. We're going to use the gem on the throne. And we're going to pick up the crowbar just in front of it. Now use the dagger on the revolving disc. And then when it is clear, we can now head down. So just make sure that the path is clear. And then we can head down. Once Mama Bear nips off to the left, what we need to do is use the crowbar on the stone plate to the right. So that's what it is, using the crowbar on it. It is another one of these mini games. Now, timing is quite tight, so you may get caught. You may just about get away with it. If you need to hide, remember the statue just to the left of the doorway here, you can hide in if you need it. Uh, but anyway, what you can do is head back up, and we can use the second gem we just found with the throne. So that'll be two thro uh, gems out of there now. Now... Uh, so just wait again for when it is clear, and then when we go down, eventually when it is clear, we're going to go down, and we're going to use the dagger, which is on a whip to the right. So it's basically just on the door, close to where the resin was, right there, that is where the whip is. I do get caught here by Big Broski, uh, which is fine, so again, if you need to hide, remember the little hole in the statue right there. Um, that was me being a bit overconfident, as it were, but anyway... 
Uh, we actually need to head down anyway, because what we need to do is go right, and uh, we need to use the crowbar on the mine shaft, which is not in this area. So, <laughs> so uh, where the mine cart is, that is where the we need to use the crowbar. So me being silly, trying to use it on a parrot for some reason. Um, but here's the mine shaft, so use the crowbar on it. Now, when we've done that, we're going to go right, and we're going to use a coin slot near the coin on the boat. Of the coin on the coin slot near the boat, sorry. So pop that one in. And then what, when that is done, we're going to give the parrot some corn. So whap your corn out, mate, and stick it square in the old parrot's noggin. And this is always fun. Spike in the butt always hurts. And then we can head... There we go. So give the parrot the corn. Job done. And then what we're going to do is head left. And then we're up. So we need to use this basically a cigar box and a, a just close to a bench. So we'll have to wait for just a moment for these two baggers to bagger off to the right. So don't do what I do here. So I end up going to the right, hiding in the statue, and then I get everything crossed up, and then I end up getting beaten up. Um, so my advice is to just um, hide in the minecart rather than the statue that I just done. I mean, okay, I don't get beaten up, but I'm taking a little bit longer than I was originally intending to. So, anyway, once he's gone upstairs, Mama Bear is now going to the right-hand side. That'll give us plenty of time. So, we need to use the dynamite on the cigar box next to the bench. And then we need to use the paint on the bench as well. So, I have to do this quite quickly because they are on their way. So, now we can head down. Use the resin with the mechanical bull. And this is the final prank that we can pull. So, again, you can either hide in the minecart... I think you can hide in the minecart in this one. You definitely can in the next level, anyway. Apologies if I uh, mislaid the information right there. Uh, but it, anyway, we're going to hide in the statue when the coast is clear and wait for the pranks to go nuts. <laughs> Are you ready to be eat? To be eat and be eaten. It's eat and be eaten. So, let's do this then. Last level of season four. So immediately, grab some cement from behind you. Once that's done, we can head down and we're going to grab a chili just near the stairs. Just off to the right of the stairs where Olga is, uh, well, she's doing things. Doing things. Let's so grab the chair, uh, chili. Head to the left and we're going to grab the piranha skeleton skull, a chicken drumstick, and the bottle. It's an empty bottle. So the chicken drumstick, piranha head, and the bottle. And now what we can do is head up to the left and grab the jam jar just near the bowl. 
So it's just to the right of the bull. There we go. So grab that one. So jam jar. We're going to head right as long as the coast is clear. In fact, we can head back down. Sorry. So I'm... Oh, in fact, I almost messed it up. Almost messed it up. Uh, so what we need to do is head up, actually. So head up. I'm just being silly, hiding for no reason. We need to head up through the big fat dormouth right there. And me... <laughs> yeah, so I do apologize. But this is the, the area where we need to grab the statue's hand and the flower. So once you grab the statue's hand and the flower, we are going to get beaten up, of course, because she was on her way. So, again, me being a bit stupid right there. So I do apologize. Uh, but she knocks us where we need to be anyway. So once we get the statue's hand and flower, we need to go left and we need to use the flower with the bull trough. Or the bull trough. The bull through. So use the flower with that one, and that's job done. Right, use the cement with the bath salts on the left-hand side. And then we can go right to the right-hand side, and we're going to hide in the statue, providing Mama just goes straight downstairs, which she does. That's Mama's predetermined route. She goes up and down, by the way. Anyway, hide in there, and then when the coast is clear, we are going to give the carnivorous plant the chicken and the piranha teeth. So give the uh, carnivorous plant here the chicken and the piranha teeth. And then what we're going to do is use the chili and the bottle with the water on the table. So again, I am taking my time. Uh, but Mama Bear is coming back. So you need to quickly go and hide before she comes back. So like I said, it was the chicken and the piranha teeth with the carnivorous plant. And then you're using the chili and the bottle uh, with the water on the table. You don't pull a bull. You, don't, you just don't pull a bull. I mean, not a bull's tail anyway. So once that one is done, then what we can do is head down once it is safe, which it should be. Head down and left, and then what we're going to do is pick up the termites in a jar. So to the left, just next to the piñata. Piñata? Piñata. Uh, so pick up the termites in the jar. Now, what you can do, if you're quick enough, you can head right and use them with the picnic on the boat. Um, annoyingly for me, Mama Bear was coming downstairs. Um, but that's fine. If that is the case, what you can do is actually head... Left and up where the bull is to grab the wasp's nest and then use that to replace the piñata with it. And then use the statue hand with the level near the with the lever near the mechanical bull. So again, uh, for some reason I'm waiting for whatever particular reason. But if you're in a situation where you're waiting because you can't do the termites in a jar thing like you can't do because Olga has got her THI double C butt in there. Like I said, what you can do is head up. Left and up to where the bull is, grab the wasp's nest and just interact that with the piñata. And then use the statue hand with the lever near the mechanical bull here. So for whatever reason then, I decided to waste two minutes instead of doing that. So I do apologize that I uh, did waste a few minutes there. Uh, but hopefully you've done the other two things first. And then you can come down, pop the termites in a jar. If you decided to follow me, what we're going to do now is, like I said, grab, go ahead, go up to the left. Grab the wasp's nest statue. Because obviously we're not interacting with that one. So head up. Yeah, these few, honestly, these last couple of levels actually did my complete nothing. Uh, so, so that's why I think, I think my brain went, <laughs> which is fine. Uh, you know, it's gone <laughs> plenty of times before. Anyway, grab the wasp nest, use it with the piranha. It is another mini game. So make sure to do the mini game. And to finally finish it off, you can use the statue hand, like I said earlier, with the uh, lever near the mechanical bull. And then hide in the minecart to finish this episode off. And then we've just got one more episode to do <laughs> Oh, my God. 
And yes, we do have to do this one in order to get the last two achievements. So there's uh, nothing quite like it. But anyway, this is the final one of the game. So woohoo! Let's do it. So don't go immediately left. But what we do need is to grab the carpet and the ammo from the box. So as soon as Gammon McNugget decides to head off to the left. Now Mama Bear is going to be sleeping for a long time. So it will give us a, an opportunity to do lots of stuff. But grab the carpet. And then to the left is the ammo from the box. Head to the right again, and we're going to use the carpet with the cargo hatch on the right. So use the carpet with this one. And then we're going to head left again, and then go up. So when the neighbor has left and has gone to the top right-hand side of the screen. Um, in fact, we do actually just need to wait here for just a moment. Because he is going to take his time. So wait here until he messes around with the flare gun. And of course you need to wait for Mama Bear to fall asleep when she does and the neighbor's going downstairs. Now we can sneak left. Use the ammunition here with the flare gun. And then we need to pick the glass up. So pick up some glass. Interact with the doormat. And also interact with the... <laughs> interact with the doormat and interact with the uh, handbag. That'll get you a code and some sleeping tablets. So now we are going to head back down. Uh, just sort of hover on the stairs. Again, you've got plenty of time with Mama Bear sleeping right there, but he will eventually nip to the left. Once he has done that, we are going to use the glass on the strap of the cargo. So, uh, it's fine uh, as long as you... It, the cargo, it'll just come up with the grate, so that'll be a bit annoying. But once that is done, we can do this little mini game. There it is, and now we can head left. Basically, we need to do a big full circle, but we have to do it, uh, you know, we have to do it in a sneaky way, of course. Um, so we basically need to head left, up, right, and down to go back to the cargo um, to grab a couple of bits of fish. Some fish, but of course we have to wait around until it is safe to do so. So yeah, just hover on the stairs for just a few minutes when he starts, sort of stops hitting himself in the head and going, Aah! and goes to the left, and then we can head down, and now we can finally grab a both fish. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to wait here for a, a moment just to, uh, again, what we need to do is use the fish with the plant on the left. So again, it's going to be a lot more waiting than it is anything else this time. So, in fact, we just about luckily got away with that. Mama Bear was coming down. Uh, so we'll have to wait here for a minute. And then when the coast is clear, we need to use the fish with that plant. All right, and again, we will have to wait. But for the time being, what we can do is... Um, yeah, in fact, there's nothing else we can do at the minute. We just have to wait. So what's going to happen is he's going to come back around. Uh, Olga is going to smell the fish. And then she's eventually going to go in the shower. And she's gonna, that's where she's going to stay. But they're the next set of items that we need. So again, it's a bit of a waiting game. Mm. 
So my absolute beloved has uh, had enough. She's going for a shower. So we'll just wait here. Not to purr or anything like that, of course. No, 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 no. Uh, but we are going to need to use the fish with the bucket. So make sure to use the fi second fish there with the bucket and pick up the towel. Now what we're going to do is head up to the left and use the towel to clean the window. Again, providing it's safe. But we are going to use the towel to clean the window, which is on the left-hand side. So once we have done that, the parrot is going to hit the window and then we can grab the key. But uh, the, <laughs> the actual perv is going to come down and try and uh, have a little perv on Olga. And of course, Olga's not going to be happy with that one. Uh, but the parrot, as long as you've cleaned the window, should be knocked out so we can grab the key when the coast is clear. <laughs> So, there we go. You ain't no squealing on Aladdin now, are you, uh, Jafar's parrot? I forget your name. Uh, but anyway, once you have grabbed the key, there's only a couple of things left to do. So, we are going to wait for Big Broski here and wait for Mama to fall back asleep. There we go then, the old coast is all clear. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use the key on the door. Of course, remember to sneak as always. So use the key on the door, uh, head up. Now, a uh, big bro will come up here, but what we need to do is put the tablets in the captain's captain's drink to give him a bit of a roofie. Uh, that's, I highly advise not doing this to anyone's drink because that is just absolute stupidity. But for the sake of this video game, we can do it. Uh, you need to interact with the captain here to push him off and then use the, ste the, the code with the steering wheel and um, that's pretty much it. So what we can do now is head downstairs. You can either hide on the deck chair next to Mommy Bear right there um, and that will hide you completely or you can just sneak around, that's fine. Either way, that is the end of this game. Hooray! Oh, oh Jesus. Well, thanks for letting me go down, Mama Bear. You can see me, but you don't want to beat me, which I'm happy with. And there we go then, guys and gals. So that is the end of Titanic 2. That is exactly uh, how it ended. Uh, 11 out of 11 achievements. And there we go. So thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed the game. And I hope you enjoyed the guide as well. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. Big shout out to all my uh, uh, Patreonages. You guys and gals are absolute legends. So thank you so much. And I will see you in the next one, guys and gals. Hey, where's my love? Where's Olga? Anyway. Thank you so much for watching, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one. Big love!